Hi and welcome to another video in the Make the Cut Projects tutorial series. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a layered or a tiered cake like a wedding cake using Make the Cut. So let's get started. I need to place a couple of objects on my mat first of all. So I'm going to come up to the Import Objects button. Now this is a new button in the beta version of Make the Cut. It hasn't actually been released yet. If you have the current version you'll find your import tab over here where my arrow was indicating. So I'm just going to bring in some basic shapes to start. And what I need is a round square, a square, and an oval. So I'll double click on each of those and then click on the X to close that window. Now I'm just going to separate these a little bit. So I'm going to start off with my rounded square and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger to start. And actually I'm going to zoom in a bit on my mat here as well. Okay, so this is the start of one of the layers of the cake. Now all I really want is half of this. So what I'm going to do is grab my square and I'm going to line it up kind of at the halfway mark on the rounded square and I'm just going to enlarge it so that the square covers the entire lower half of the rounded square. Now I'm going to click and drag around those two shapes to select both of them and I'm going to come down to Boolean Join and what that's going to do is allow me to basically cut the top from the bottom of the rounded rectangle. Now that's not quite the join that I want so I'm just going to click the drop down arrow and select the next one and that's the shape that I'm looking for. So I'm going to click now to accept that change. So that's basically one layer for the cake. Now I need to duplicate this a couple of times because I'm going to make a three layered cake. So I'm going to right click and click on copy and then right click paste in place. So now I have two of those and then right click and paste in place one more time and now I have three layers for my cake. So now I'm going to layer them on top of each other and of course on a wedding cake the layers are get a little bit smaller as they go up the pile. So I'm just going to size these down a little bit so that they're proportionate. And this third one is the smallest. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more here. Okay so now you can start to see that the cake is really coming together. I'm just going to move these layers a little bit closer together. Now I want to make sure that my tiers are all lined up down the center. So to do that I'm going to again select all three layers, right click, come down to align and space and then select align. And I'm going to select vertical center and what that will do is line them up vertically along the center just like it says. So I'll click that and you probably saw the top two layers shift over a little bit and now they're all lined up perfectly down the center. So I'm going to move that up on my mat just a little bit and now I'm going to come over and grab this oval. and I need to rotate it so what I'm going to do is hold down control because I want to rotate it 90 degrees so I'm just going to click on the oval until I get my rotating arrows hold down control and when I hold down control to rotate it constrains the rotation to 15 degrees at a time so that way I know that I can get a nice perfect 90 degree rotation now what I'm doing with this oval is I'm going to make the bottom of that bottom layer just slightly rounded because when you look at a cake straight on even though the bottom is flat it looks a little bit rounded. So I'm going to take my oval and just stretch it out so that it's the full width of the cake and then I'm going to flatten it a little bit because I want this rounding to be fairly subtle at the bottom. Now I'm going to move this up I'm going to flatten it just a little bit more here. Just want a very subtle effect. 
and then move it up so that the corners of the oval are right aligned with the corners of that bottom layer of the cake. And with the oval selected, I'm going to hold down shift and click on that bottom layer so that those two shapes are selected. And I'm going to come down and click on weld. And now I've got one shape at the bottom where the corners are slightly curved. So that's the basics of my shape and I'm just going to change the color of that so it's a little bit prettier, a bit more wedding-y. So I'm going to come over here to layer properties, click on the color selection box and I'll make it a nice light pink. Now I need to set my cake on something so I need to give it a plate. So I'm going to come back to import basic shapes and select another oval. And again, I'm going to hold down control to rotate that oval around 90 degrees. Bring it over here. Get my resizing arrows and now I'm going to stretch it out so that it looks a bit more like a plate. Now right now the oval is sitting on top of my cake so it really doesn't look like a plate. What I need to do is put it onto its own layer and then move it underneath the cake. So I'm going to come down to the layers palette, click on selection to new layer, making sure that the oval is selected before I do that. And then I'm just going to move that plate down a level. Just like that. And now you can see that it actually looks like my cake is sitting on a plate. And I'm going to move the plate up just a little bit so it looks like it's centered there. That looks pretty good right about there. Now finally you don't have a wedding cake without some decorations so I'm just going to add some basic decorations to my cake. So again I'm going to come to import basic shapes and I'm going to come over to miscellaneous and since we're making a wedding cake I'm going to add some hearts to it. So I'll double click on that and with that heart selected I'm going to add that onto a new layer just by clicking that selection to new layer option and I'm going to make my hearts a little different color. I'm going to make them a darker pink. Size it down a little bit and what I want is a little row of hearts right across there so I'm going to right click click on duplicate and about seven looks good and my spacing is at zero inches so that means that my hearts are going to be right next to each other which is what I want. Click on OK and now I'm going to weld those together so that those seven hearts are now one shape. And then I'll just drag that over onto my cake and once it's on my cake I can resize it a little bit to make sure that it's just the right size. Move that down a bit so that it's centered. And of course you can add hearts or flowers or whatever shape you like to your cake to make it suit the occasion. Now I'm just going to add some hearts to the top two layers. So I'm going to hit oops, with the hearts selected, copy and then paste in place. I'm going to move those up, resize them so that they fit the next layer and paste in place again and once again resize them so that they fit on that layer. And there you have a basic little wedding cake. So since it's June right now and wedding season is upon us, this is perfect for making wedding cards, wedding scrapbook pages or anything else related to weddings. Hope you enjoyed the video and have fun playing with making wedding cakes.